Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Y'all, today I found some big whole chickens on sale at the grocery store. What better way to celebrate barbecue month than to cook up some barbecued half chicken? Let's get to cooking. So these birds are getting dropped down in a barbecue brine. And all that is is some hot sauce, about a half a bottle of my bird brine, and then about a half a cup of the barbecue rub. I'm gonna top it off with a gallon of water and you wanna soak them for at least six hours. So once the birds come out of the brine, we're gonna turn them into half chickens. And all that is is I'm taking kitchen scissors and removing the backbone. And then turn them over and grab your chef's knife and split them right down the middle. And I also clip those wing tips off. So for the season, I'm gonna start on the bone side I always season both sides of your meat. And on this side, you can really tell how that brine's kind of soaked in down deep in that chicken. We're just gonna get a coat of your favorite barbecue rub on it, whatever you like. Got this hot rub going down today. I'm gonna put a decent coat. You wanna stretch out them wings, make sure you get some seasoning on them. And I'm just gonna season the skin side now, same way. So today I'm firing up my outlaw stick burner for this cook. Starting with a good bed of Royal Oak lump charcoal. Got a couple tumbleweeds underneath it to get those coals hot. And once they start bringing the temperature up on the dial, that's when I'm gonna start adding hickory wood splits. It's gonna give us smoke flavor. It's gonna give us good BTUs. You wanna run your pit at 275. Doesn't matter what you cook on, just keep those temperatures at that range. All right, y'all, check out how that rub's kind of melted down on that skin. These halves are ready for the pit. Now, all I'm gonna do is just set them right on here the way I want them to cook. We're not gonna move them a whole lot, but I wanna make sure that skin's kind of laying right. You can run them all the same way if you want. Plenty room to breathe here. Now all we gotta do is close the lid on our outlaw and let that hickory wood eat. So our chicken halves have been on just a little over an hour. And this is exactly what I wanted them to do. I wanted that rub to kind of blend in. We wanted to get some of that hickory smoke on them. They got a pretty color now. We're gonna get them tender. So normally I just drop these chicken halves in a pan, maybe put some butter in there and cover it and get them back on. But I'm gonna do things a little different today. I know how good that Texas turkey breast is where I wrapped it up with the butter in full tight, kind of like a rib. That's what I'm doing to these chicken halves. So we're gonna set it here on the full. And then I've got some sticks of butter that I've split in half. What we're gonna do is lay two of them down. And now I'm gonna flip the chicken over on it. I'm gonna hit it with just a little more rub on this back side. But this process is about getting that skin tender. I wanna be able to chew that skin. I don't want it to be tough. And wrapping it up tight with that butter is gonna help it. So all you're doing is taking foil, bringing it up and over, tucking it in around that chicken. And it's gonna kind of braise in this little package we've created. And that's gonna go right back on the pit. All right, I got them all wrapped and back on the pit. We're gonna close that lid on the outlaw, hold this temperature at 275, about an hour and a half, we're gonna check on them. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. I wanna check on these chicken halves. So I'm gonna grab one off here. It's been on the longest, the first one we wrap. Let's take it over the cut board and check it out. Moment of truth, y'all, it's when you unwrap have full. See what kind of damage we did to these halves. I know they're probably not gonna be the prettiest. That's okay, they've been wrapped up, smothered in butter. How would you look? I'm gonna carefully unwrap them, and y'all know this is hot. This butter can run on you. Bottom side looks good. We lost some of the color, but that's okay. The skin stayed perfect, and that's what I wanted to see. Now, if y'all wanted to check the internal temperature, this is a good time to do it. You want it to at least be 165 in that breast. I know this chicken's hotter than that. I've done this before. If I had to guess, it's about 175, 180, but it still looks good. We got the smoke on them. We got them tenderized. We got that skin super soft. Now we gotta get them pretty. First, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit more rub. This is where you can fill in any of those little cracks where the skin tore, and it's gonna melt, and it's gonna give it that appearance you want. And now I'm just gonna hit them with some barbecue sauce. Use your favorite barbecue sauce straight out the bottle. If you got a favorite recipe, you can use that too. And all I'm gonna do is just drizzle it right over the top and let it run right here on the board. That's beautiful laying there, but we gotta get some of that smoke on it. Let that sauce soak it up. That sauce not only makes this chicken look pretty, but it's gonna be flavor, it's gonna caramelize down, it's blending with that rub we put on, it makes that skin pop. Let's get it back on the pit. I'm just gonna use a spatula, slide under them real easy to pick them up, take it right back over to the outlaw. All right, we got the chicken back on the glaze. Now all we need is about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna hold that temp steady, just let it kind of die down. We got a little light smoke coming, that's perfect. Just watch it and don't let it burn. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's look at these glazed chicken halves. And check this out, y'all. That's beautiful. Perfect glaze on the outside. It soaked up a little bit of that hickory smoke. I know it's gonna be juicy. I know it's gonna be tender. It's time to eat some chicken. All right, y'all, after we put that barbecue makeover on them, that's some beautiful birds right there. And y'all know what time it is. I got to go in here. What do you think I'm gonna try first? I'm eyeballing this wing. Take me a little knife. See how tender it is. The bone will pop right out. Clean. Got that smoke flavor going. 
Mm, that's some tasty chicken. You can separate them, you serve them up, you get the whole half. So what I'm gonna do is just take my knife, kinda get the breast off that leg quarter. We got flavor all down in it, it's juicy. The skin on the outside is about perfect. It's soft, it's not rubbery, you can bite right through it. Yes, now for the dark meat, y'all. I know y'all hate to watch me do it, but I gotta try some of that too. You can see some of that brine, how it's gotten down in the meat. It's got flavor through and through. Mm. Oh, that's so tender. That, that dark meat melts in your mouth. But not only do you get that barbecue flavor from that glaze we put on it, from the smoke, from the seasoning, deep down in the meat, you're tasting that brine. You get that hot sauce. You can get that rub we put on there. And giving it time to soak is what makes all the difference in the world. Hey, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me here today at How to Barbecue Right. If y'all like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You know you can find us on all the social channels. And Shell and I are going to be talking about this recipe on our weekly podcast. Y'all tune in and give that a listen. It's time for me to get down on the rest of this chicken half. Ooh, think I can pick it up and just get a bite right out of it? What do you think? Mm.